<laughs> Come on, let's get up out of here. See you later. See you later. Following is intended only for mature audiences. Viewer discretion advised. If you have a healthy relationship with your children, but I've made up in my mind that nothing's gonna stop us from having a daily relationship. I will do whatever it takes, make whatever adjustments I need to make. So it's gonna be a dog fight, but I'm telling you. What's going on, family? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a wonderful day, wonderful morning, wonderful evening. Whatever time you watch this video, I hope that it's wonderful for you. Now today, I'm gonna be doing a video that just kind of been tugging at my heart, something I need to get off my chest, so. I mean, I'm gonna post up in the car before I take off and we'll just kind of do the intro in there, so I'll catch y'all in the car, right? Fertilizer did good. Grass getting nice and green. Nice and green. All right. All right. Let's uh, let's pop a squat in the old car. All right. Let me start it up. Even though it's a nice, beautiful day in Texas here, it looked like it wanna rain on this Friday. Uh, let me see here. Uh, yeah. All right. All right, so yeah, today is a, another beautiful, blessed day that we all been blessed with. If you're watching this, you've been blessed to have a beautiful day as well. Recently, y'all been seeing uh, me spend a lot of time uh, with my baby boy. And of course, you can never make up lost time. So that's what this video is about. Uh, this is like a, a public apology to my little man. Because uh, if y'all been following this journey for a while, y'all know that uh, me and Erica, we, over the years, went back and forth, uh, social media and everything. And of course, I was hoping in those times that we can keep stuff behind the scenes, behind closed doors. But things happen. Nobody's perfect. Things happen. And emotions were evolved to, to where, you know, we couldn't see eye to eye on a lot of things. But as a result of that, uh, a beautiful baby was in the middle of that and he didn't deserve that. So that's what this video is about. And just about every day I've been making that trip to come pick him up and we go hang out and have a good time. And, and I'm really happy that me and Erica was even able to even get on the level to be able to communicate effectively to where I can come pick him at, at any time. Or she needs a break from the boys in general, you know, I could come, come get both of them just to kind of give her a little mental break, the youngest, the youngest ones, uh, cause it is a lot of work. And I can really see how much work it is trying to take care of so many little ones at that age and it's just so much demand and from your time your energy it's like you'll never get a break so that's why i really been by me being able to just see a glimpse of that you know i was telling her like no matter what i have your back if you need me to watch them all whatever it is if you need that little mental break just let me know and because i do realize how difficult it is um to raise children and not only just from a financial standpoint, but just from a the standpoint of trying to have some type of mental break. So it's hard, you know, it's hard. So that's why I've been making it a point to do my part, to get little man as much as possible. And when two adults have a child together, the child should never suffer at the result of that, no matter what the circumstance is. 
So that's the reason I wanted to make this video. So it just makes me think like how far along would he be if he would have had that connection with me from the very beginning and just like my daughters. So every time I'm reading through the comments, I can see how y'all say how well Ramaya and Paige speak, the way they articulate their words. And that was very intentional. Um, their mom and I spent a lot of time speaking with them, making sure that they're uh, well educated and that takes energy and effort. So they mom did a wonderful job as well and still doing a wonderful job. So it is, no matter what the circumstance is, um, it always has to be a team effort, you know, no matter where somebody is um, lacking, we have to do our very best because these children didn't ask to be here. So it's our job to make sure that they have everything that they need while we're here. So that's all I just really wanted to say. And when he gets older and see this video, um, he'll be able to look back and, and know that as a man, no matter what the circumstance is, you can never make any excuse. You have to make it work no matter what of course it takes two willing participants to make it work too but no matter what it takes you have to do everything in your power to make it right for the sake of the child and for the sake of the children if there's more children involved so that's all i just wanted to say i'm not going to keep this video long and i'm probably going to insert like some of the clips from last weekend uh, when he hung out at my place and when he was um at my people's place <laughs> you gotta finish eating, boy. You ready? Let's go. Get your shoes and let's get up out of here, man. Okay. Hmm? Okay. okay, let's go then. You walk around like he owned the place. Okay. Yeah. Where you going? You trying to go back to your room? Where you going? Where you going? It's time to go. Come on, we gotta go. Let's go. There you go. Come on. Let's go. Time to go. There you go. Turn around. There you go. Come on. You're doing good. There you go. There you go. There you go. Come on, big man. Yeah. Let's go, Ricard. Come on. Let's go. Almost there. Few more steps. Few more steps. All right, good job, high five. Good job, high five. Yay! <laughs> Come on, let's get up out of here. See you later. See you later. Let's go show the people your new bike we got to put together. Yeah. 
You ready to roll? All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, again, I gotta keep it short and sweet because it's still a lot of work to do and I want to make sure that I get this video out to you guys. But one more thing that I would like to say too, it definitely takes a village to raise these children and to help them out as much as possible. So even when I'm going um, to pick up my little man, he loves pizza. So one of the things that I'll do is make sure that I buy a few boxes of pizza um, that way his siblings can eat some as well you know because if you don't do things like that what it end up happening in the long run is the siblings they'll start resenting the child that's getting you know more attention and all of that so I don't want to ever cause that type of friction so I try to be there for all of them when I'm there whichever way that is you know so in those moments I try to be there for all of them when I'm whenever I'm there and try to give her a mental break because I can see that it is very, very difficult. And I just wanna to say to Erica, I think you're doing a wonderful job. And I'm blessed to have two ladies that actually care for their children, give them the love and energy that they need in order to make sure that we can have a healthy co-parenting situation. So um, I just wanted to say that on here. And, but I ain't gonna make this video long. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. And if you wanna come somewhere that's gonna be talking about purpose and passion, you're at the right place. So until the next time, I'm Mr. Mucker, and make sure you choose purpose over pleasure.